Oh, what's up, Game Weepers? Are we ready for 11-8? This, of course, is Code Cheeks, and I am excited as for this one, because in this video, guys, you are going to be watching new footage of the five champions that got buffed in the jungle this patch, and we're also going to talk about the other four that got buffed. And these include Darius, Zed, Lee Sin, Morgana, Ramus, Rumble, Diana, Zack, and Mordekaiser. Yes, Jungle Zed. Yes, Jungle Darius. Yes, Jungle Mordekaiser. These are all real. So if you have to pinch yourselves, I'll give you a second to do so. And I'm going to show you their initial clear in 11-8, because the jungle is all about fast clearing at the moment. And guess what? Every single one of these junglers fit the bill. So if you want to win in the next two weeks, guys, in 11.8, you have got to watch this video. And just quickly, our 50% sale on our Game Weep website is running out in a day's time. So you have just over 24 hours to make use of the promo code SPRING. And when you do that, guys, you will be a part of our bonus coaching session raffle, where one of you lucky annual members will get a one-on-one -on -one with me on the Rift. How good's that? So sign up. Links, as always, in the description and comment section. Now, before we look at these new champions in clears, guys, boy, each clear, I smite the red buff, so it kind of acts like I'm getting a leash. And at least we'll actually do more damage so another two to three seconds can be shaved off these clears and these clears can definitely be done quicker i legit just hopped on tested them out quickly but the potential of them is there for all to see all right so let's get into it and how can we not start by looking at the new jungle darius and this is so cracked so listen to this you can full clear as quick as anyone now and that's of course thanks to the 11 8 change that buffed your passive damage to monsters as you can see so you can apply your stacks to these jungle monsters and let the bleed finish them off while you attack another monster in the raptor krug or wolf camps or walk to your next camp this saves a lot of valuable time and that's what jungling is all about. You're also going to see me hit the monsters with the outer part of my Q, which is very important because you're going to deal more damage and heal for more. And you want to be hitting as many as you can. This again will expediate that clear so you can then go and dominate. Also remember guys that your W can cancel your auto attack animation. So as soon as you auto attack, follow this immediately with a W. Again, it's all about speed. Also, if your Q is up before you get to your next camp, use your Q to start the camp off. You shouldn't need the heal because your clear is insanely healthy anyway. And this is another massive advantage you have. And this just just adds a stack straight away and you start the camp ASAP. Now with all these junglers guys, what makes them so good is their ability to do blue and gromp at the same time. And Darius is one of the best because of his Q. So you can leash the gromp of your decimate and then do both camps at the same time, remembering to auto attack and W gromp while queuing both and boom, look at that. Now it's also really interesting for Darius because you can run Predator as your keystone with Chilling Smite if you have great lanes to gank for who have set up in CC, or you can run Conqueror and Red Smite if you want to duel it out with the enemy jungler. So if you have tested or if you do test jungle Darius out this patch guys I want to hear about it in the comments because it looks nuts. Now the next jungler we have to look at guys is Zed and the 11-8 changes have certainly buffed your jungling but you are still pretty vulnerable in the early game because you can take a lot of damage from the camps. Now the change right made and I'll point it out to you here is your passive cooldown when you're attacking minions and monsters because now you don't have a cooldown for it. So can you see how I'm proccing my extra passive damage on red buff with each auto attack when it's below 50% HP? This means in terms of speed you are up there but again you can can get very low and if you're against a graze or nidalee for example you can get bullied out of the jungle so maybe a more optimal clear for zed this patch will be red raptors walls blue and gromp instead of doing krugs as well which is what i did remember to e as many of the monsters as possible and aim your shuriken so it does the same and hits the primary monster first so the big raptor or the big wolf for example because it does less damage to subsequent targets like Darius, you can take blue smite if you want to impact your lanes or red smite if you're all about 1v1 in the enemy jungler which also comes in handy of course if you want to 1v1 anyone on the map, which is what you're about. So Zed is definitely better in the jungle, but his early game weakness is still apparent. Now, another assassin in the jungle who got 11-8 change is Diana, and her clear speed is off chops. Like, if you want a champion for free low in the next two weeks, guys, Diana is it, I'm telling you. The extra damage and attack speed in your passive is huge for your clear, and you can power farm all six camps as quick as anyone. Now, I want to point out that getting your E second is important, so you can E over to Krugs and the other camps, and getting W third is also important, so you can stay healthy while doing Blue and Gromp at the same time in particular. The shield does come in pretty clutch. And by the way, for all of these clears, guys, you can see my runes next to the left-hand side of the HUD. And for most of these champions, I am taking attack speed with adaptive force and armor in my runes. The only one I don't do this on is Morgana, and I'll point that out to you very soon. Now, like the other champions, guys, with Diana, the AoE, you want to be hitting all the creeps with your Q and W. And one more important point is to not use your second E because its cooldown is over 20 seconds. And you want your dash to get over walls to your next camp. So try not to tap E twice when you Q. As you can see, I full clear these at 3.15, and I clear the red buff like a noob so 11-8 diana can be even quicker now perhaps the most buffed champion in the jungle in 11-8 guys is the mace wielder mordekaiser and when you watch this clear i know you are going to be wtfing it's that busted now the passive buff is super good because the extra damage results in a quicker clear and seeing as your auto attacks and basic abilities refresh your passive you can have it up pretty much all the time the q buff from 11-7 also really helps because against red blue and gromp you do more damage because it's obviously just one target you're hitting and as you can see the speed is nutty make sure to put two 
two points in your queue at level three, and it's that easy. Now, this is by far the most noob friendly out of the bunch, guys. If you don't want to stress out while clearing camps, 11 8 Mordekaiser is the best. Now, the last specific jungle adjustment champion this patch is another mage, and this clear requires a lot of practice, but if you can make this work, Morgana is hands down one of the best junglers. Now, the buff was simple. Your W's damage is higher against monsters, but the clear itself is actually pretty complicated. So you start by auto attacking red buff, then this small raptor, and standing along this line right here. You then drop your W on top of yourself, making sure to hit all the raptors and red buff, and auto attack as many raptors as you can so you heal for more, otherwise you can get way too low on HP. And remember guys, the more targets your tormented soul affects, its cooldown is lowered. So against raptors, krugs, and wolves, you clear these the quickest in the game. Oh, and for your minor runes, take two adaptive force and then armor or magic resist depending on your jungle matchup. The attack speed that we took on the previous junglers, you don't actually need it for Morgana because you are all about your W's damage and resetting its cooldown. You can also leash the camps by using your Q first, just remember for walls to hit the big one by angling it towards the outside of the camp as you're running towards it. And when you do blue and gromp, guys, you are queuing gromp, auto attacking blue, and then Wing both as they combine. And again, this clear no doubt can be quicker, but it just goes to show if you can do it somewhat quickly, it puts you in a position to influence the map just like the strongest junglers at the moment. Now, as for the other junglers, guys, who are buffed or changed this patch, who weren't part of Riot's jungling adjustments, well, there are four of them. And we're going to start with Rumble, who Riot pushed into the top lane with the 11-8 changes, but funnily enough, put a heck of a lot of power back into Rumble jungle. And like the others on this list, guys, your initial clear speed is unreal. And that's thanks to Riot putting 50% attack speed in your overheat and making your harpoons reduce the target's magic resist so the rest of your kit can carve up minions, monsters, and champions. But it's still essential, guys, to get your W second, because like Zed, you can take a lot of damage from the jungle, so the shield comes in really handy. But when you do get level 3 off Raptors, that's when you can really start to overheat by spamming your skills and unleashing that new attack speed. You can also clear blue and gromp at the same time, and if done properly, you can get to level 4 and finish your 6 camps by the time Scuttlecrab spawned. And it's also important to keep in mind, guys, that if you do overheat now, it's actually a good thing, because of this ridiculous attack speed you get, and you'll probably end up doing more damage with your orders than with all your abilities. Now, one jungler, guys, who's got a bit of attack speed in his kit and is one of the best early game fighters in the game is Lee Sin. And this patch right reduced your ease cooldown by two seconds, and this takes a little bit of time off your clear, which is good, but it's just not as drastic of a change as the others in this video. But this does indeed let you get through the multiple jungle creep camps quicker in particular, so another season 11 buff for the blind monk, nothing to really complain about. Now, another jungler we have to mention, guys, is Zack. And your W's damage basically doubled in 11-8, and this means your clear is better off. And an AP bruiser item like Demonic Embrace, for example, makes more sense because you have better AP ratios. Of course, you can still go Frostwire Gauntlet and tank your way to wins, but for those chants out there, your full AP Zack build just got more viable. And last up, guys, we have Ramus, who got a slight rework this patch, but one buff I want to point out that is going to make the world of difference is the one to your W. So the new effect, as you can see, means that each time you auto attack an enemy like a jungle monster, your W's duration increases, and this can be up to four seconds longer. So this would be incredibly useful in the early game when you're clearing camps, and this is when you are at your weakest. So right, giving you more help at this stage of the game with this specific change is great. And I wouldn't be surprised if the new Ramus shot up the win rates this patch, so it might be worth abusing him before something gets nerfed. But those are the updated junglers for patch 11.8, guys, a lot in here, and I want to hear your thoughts on what Riot changed in the comments. Also, remember that 50% sale on the Game Week website. If you want a chance of winning a free coaching session with a dude that coached rank 1 EUS, then sign up. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys, and until tomorrow's video, this has been Coach Space.